So I'm just in next, we're in Manchester doing a bit of shopping and I've just found this teddy bear coat. Oh my god, like it's an oversized teddy bear coat. I'm literally obsessed with it. I think it looks so glam and gorgeous in autumn. Like, doesn't it look cute? Brody said it looks like an old granny coat. Yeah, he calls it granny coat, but it's not. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy! This is going to match my whole autumn and winter wardrobe. Gonna try I these love off. them tweed, tweed pants. I'm hoping I can get in them. They're just a bit too. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try these guys. I'm so excited. This is everything. <laughs> And I'm just randomly like doing a few vlogs and just like you know gathering it up and I've just finished a video right now so I finished doing a favorites video I feel really good about editing that to be fair though I've nearly edited it because I'm in this kind of like work mode and once she goes in a work mode she doesn't stop but I thought I would tell show you a few things because I've got a Mac package um, because I ordered three things from Mac and I also want to show you what I bought yesterday. So I also bought this damn jacket which is from Zara and it's black. I have wanted a black denim jacket for so long like for the longest time ever I've wanted a black denim jacket and I found one in Zara because that is where I get all of my denim jackets from apart from my um, made ones from jean jacket designs but apart from that these are literally what I live for. The denim in Zara is the best kind of denim. Although this jacket right here is quite a heavy denim. Now I usually like wear light denim, like quite lightweight, but this is the first jacket that I actually own that feels really heavy for a denim jacket, but it just feels so much nicer. And I think for winter, this is gonna be perfect. Between this and my fur jacket, it's gonna be a perfect combo. What I love about this jacket is as well, it's got all like, these rips and it's like been worn away and I love that about it like I don't actually own a denim jacket with like rips in it it's got a lot more rips in it than two here but even on the sleeve here it's got a bit of fraying and rips and I love it like it's got a lot more than this on it but again don't own a denim jacket with a little bit more like rough and tear in it like a lot of my denim jackets do not have this so I'm so glad that I found one from Zara, I got mine in a little bit, oh, hello Neil. I got mine in an oversized, so I can wear it oversized over my shoulders, and it looks so good, and it's so comfy as well. They do do a matching skirt to this, exactly like the one that I wore in Summer in the City, but black, again, that was from Zara, which I'm so tempted to get, because this with a black thin skirt would look so cute in winter, so yeah, I'm very, very persuaded into getting the black denim skirt because i would love the black version but i just feel like the black skirt would go so nice with this and like black boots with like an all black look with a black denim jacket i'm living for it oh my god does my dad want to make any more noise wow anyways i love Zara denim it's my favorite and i'm really really hoping um to maybe like try and get some jeans from there like jeans is impossible for me to get and when i say impossible I literally mean impossible. I don't own a pair of jeans because I can't find any. But I like the denim skirts from Zara. So I might order myself the denim skirt because it's quite cheap. This was £23, which I think is a bargain. And my jacket was 22 my fur one. So yeah, I'm kind of sorted for my denim jackets now. I also bought this top from Primark. This honestly looks rubbish on camera and on a hanger it looks awful, I will admit. But when this top is actually on it fits me so well. Now I actually bought this as a dress because this top is way too long to be a top. 
So this is a dress with black boots and a black denim jacket or my new coat. Like, do you see it? Like, honestly, it's a vibe. I love it. I really wanted, like, a dark grey dress and I've not found one until now from Primark. This was only £4, which is a bargain. So this as a dress is perfect. They do do a dark, gorgeous, like, burgundy one as well, like a purple burgundy. So if you're into that, this is cute. But for me, the dark grey is just perfect. So, of course, I went into the body shop, which is my new favourite store at the moment. I am just obsessed with the body shop. I love it at the moment. And I love spending my money because in there is like paradise. I love the smell. I just love everything about it. So I went in there to try and find a new cream cleanser. And I found an aloe vera calming cream cleanser. This is meant to be really good for your skin. So at the moment, I'm going to be trying it. And if it's good, I will probably end up using it more and featuring it in a morning routine. And then I decided because it was on like three for two. So I did get the vitamin E eye cream. And oh my God, I can't wait to try this. When I tried it in the store, it felt amazing. Use it night and day and see if it works. But honestly, this is going to feel so good because even on my hand, it felt amazing. So I can't wait to try this. And if it's good again you will probably find out about it and then i also bought i also bought the vitamin e moisturizing gel cream now this is a day cream and i love this because one it's a gel which is one of my favorite things like a gel moisturizer is my favorite at the moment i prefer them to creams but i don't know if you can tell but it's got like a shite a, sh a shite <laughs> It's got like a very slight shimmer in it, like a sheen. Um, no, you actually can't tell. But honestly, this in the store like made my hand glow. So I am in love. And because it was on three for two, I thought, why not? And yeah, this is meant to be really good as well. And I love the vitamin E range. And then the last thing I bought was a body yogurt. I had to buy a body yogurt because everyone is using these at the moment. And... I really wanted a new moisturiser because I have the worst dry skin on my legs. I don't know what it is, but I have the worst dry skin at the moment. So, I do already have the, um, oh my god, what's it called? Shea Butter Body Butter. But I wanted a body yoghurt just because it's not as thick. And I could use this in the day and then the body butter at night before bed. Oh my god. Now, I don't normally like strawberry scents. But this reminds me of my childhood and I, the scent is insane. It is so amazing and look at it. It's massive as well. Like doesn't it look like an actual yogurt? Like I love the idea of it and this is amazing. Again, I tried a bit in store, fell in love and I thought, you know what? I have to get it because it's so gorgeous. If there was smell version right now, you would actually die. Like this smell is insane. Like I can't get over it. If you like your body stuff, I really do recommend the body creams. But the skincare as well is, again, amazing. Like the vitamin E range, the aloe vera I picked because of my skin at the moment. If I do have, like, a few breakouts, this is perfect. So that is everything I got from the body shop. But I'm sure I'll probably go back in there because, honestly, I love the body shop at the moment. Like, it's my new favourite shop. I just love it. This is my new job. I'm sorry, it looks ridiculous on the hanger, but girl, oh my god, one, I feel super glam in it, it is literally a true teddy bear coat, I love getting all of my jackets from Next, they fit me so well, this one is a little bit oversized, which I did want, I did want a longer jacket for this autumn and winter, because a lot of jackets that I wear are a little bit cropped, but as you can see, it's got little pockets, it's a teddy bear jacket, Oh my god, isn't it gorgeous? So last year my brother was actually involved in a music video in Manchester called Freedom of the City and, and my brother played football in it as if they it was his like their youth so he basically played their youth which was so amazing and I'm going to show you the video now because it's so cute and it would be amazing if you could support them definitely check out the video I will link it down below in the description that my brother is in it is a so it's just a lovely video the boys did so well doing the whole creation of it is so fab so definitely check it out in the link below but I'll show you a little clip of it now
I definitely need to tidy up this, which is my letter board thing. And I also need to tidy up my basket full of stuff because, oh, there's my ring light. Actually, I need to shut, oh God. I need to shut these doors. Oh, I like this lighting. Shut the doors. Just because it's so bright in my bathroom, like it's amazing lighting like, but it's just a little bit too bright for the background. So your girl is gonna shut. This is really attractive. There we go. I need to tidy my tripod away. I need to tidy my ring light away. And I'm going to show you my Mac stuff. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I got from Mac. So I did a little order, sneaky peaky order. <laughs> my mom literally just rang, so if the camera's changed a little bit, that's why. But yeah, I bought a few things. Sorry, I can't stop looking at my earrings. I love them. But yeah, I bought um, a few things on Mac. Honestly, my dream would be to bring out a Mac lipstick. If I did that, I think my life would be made. I would be the happiest girl in the world. Now, I've got a ridiculous amount of MAC lipsticks, but they're the only lipsticks that I genuinely will use, like all colours. I've got blue, I've got green, I've got grey, I've got loads of browns, I've got loads of reds, and I've got a good few nudes. I'm still building up my collection of nudes because I'm really into nudes at the moment. I never used to be into nudes, but I feel like nudes make me look a bit more glam, a little bit more grown up. It's really weird, but yeah, I love my nudes. So I went on MAC because I needed a lip gloss and if you need a lip gloss, MAC is the place to go because their lip glosses are in, like they're just unbelievable, like their lip glass is literally look, balls, just dropped it, right, <laughs> let's try that again shall we, yeah, your girl needed a gloss straight away, think of MAC because if you see like them lips on Instagram that are so glossy and like the liquid drip like this is it this is what makes them this is what makes them look like glass yeah I bought myself the MAC clear lip glass you get 15 mils in this which I think is quite a lot for a lip gloss like 15 mils is quite a lot but yeah I've been wanting this for so long it is a little bit pricey but for the the gloss shine like that's what I like I find that not many glosses look really good I like my lips look pardon I love my lips looking like pure glass that is what you get with this MAC lip gloss so I did buy that but I still got like birthday money that I've not even spent I've literally probably spent it all on like London trips and stuff like that so this is my treat and then I have to have to support YouTube, of course, like YouTube gals, hello, Patricia Bright and Jamie, I, if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of Jamie, Jamie, I've watched for years, I love her, she's my style, just everything about her is me, like, she's me in a different person, I love Jamie so much, uh, so, when I, re when I found out that Mac was teaming up with two YouTubers from the UK, honestly, I'm so happy, of course, I had to support them, buy them, so I got the Patricia Bright one because how could I not when it's a brown shade? Like she brought out a brown which would be perfect as a like an everyday nude for darker and deeper skin tones, which is such a genius idea. But people like me who is ridiculously pale can still wear the lipsticks, but it will just be like a dark colour on it, which is perfect for autumn. Like autumn this is what I'll be wearing. So this is actually gonna be a first impressions because I've actually not even opened any of them yet. I've had to wait. So, oh my God, if it's this brown, I'm actually gonna die because this is what I love wearing in autumn and winter. I wear more browns in autumn and winter now rather than reds. Reds is more like what I wear for Christmas. I've never opened this, so I'm so excited to see. <gasps> oh my God. It's like a really rich brown. That is so stunning. The, the smell, I'm dead. This is gonna look so stunning with like a really pale nude in the middle, like an ombre brown lip. I can see it in my new jacket, like. Oh my God. I have not got a brown lipstick like this. A lot of brown lipsticks that I own are very red or like they're quite, um, purpley or 
they're very like pretty much black like really dark really really dark this however is a true chocolatey brown this has got no like red tone in it oh my god i'm so so happy with this like that and my new jacket is gonna look so chic like i'm not gonna lie this and my new teddy bear jacket is gonna look so cute and like this kind of makeup as well just looks so pretty oh my god i knew i wouldn't regret these like this is what i thought like instantly i was like girl get the lipsticks because one is supporting the youtube fam of course i would obviously support my girls who i watch on youtube two these two are like my nude go-to and my brown go-to for autumn winter Honestly, they bought them out at the most perfect time because now I have two new two lipsticks that I can wear. So this is so, oh my God, I can't wait to be wearing this in autumn. I cannot wait. I've actually been dying to wear a brown lipstick for ages at the moment. I've been like, but because it's still like summer at the moment, it's August. I don't want to be cracking out a brown lip just yet because it's not autumn just yet. So as soon as autumn hits, I'm cracking out a brown lip and this is going to be my autumn lip. I really want to do like a brown lip look as well, like an autumn. Honestly, I don't even think you understand how pretty this is. Well done, girl. We love you. We love a queen who brings out a perfect brown. So, Patricia Bright, you queen. I love the packaging as well. But yeah, it's a perfect chocolate brown. Very similar to the box, actually. And then we have my girl, Jamie. I love the story behind the packaging. She said it was her grey denim jacket that goes everywhere with her. It's been all around the world. And they printed the box with the denim jacket, which is very me. Like, oh my God, I would love that. I would love to create the box and the packaging. I'd love to find out how they do it. I'd love to create a lipstick. But I don't know what I'd create because I'm so into every colour. Like, I love my nudes. I love my browns, I love my reds, I'm well known for my red lipstick. It's so hard, like if I actually designed a lipstick, I think it would be so hard to choose. Oh my god, look at the colour. Oh, it looks very really similar to what I've got on. So this is Jamie's lipstick. Oh, oh, hello. Oh my god, again. This is really good, like they've not actually designed something that's not already been done like i do find a lot of nudes look the same and browns especially as well these are two lipsticks that you can kind of get mixed up with others like two red two brown two similar oh my god oh my god finally a peachy nude oh my god this is gonna look stunning ah! so this here is the actual like nude that jamie's brought out this is gonna look so oh my god well done girls you are amazing oh my god i'm so excited yeah your girl is so hyped at wearing this like i cannot wait this is like my dream like this is dream lipsticks on my hand like a brown and nude you're good to go i'm so glad that i did buy these because the two things that I, like the one thing that i did want to do is buy like a lipstick that would kind of see me through and I wasn't really sure what um Patricia Bright was going to actually bring out I genuinely thought she was going to bring out like a really dark red don't ask me don't know why but I just could see it if you know what I mean and then I thought Jamie was going to bring out a red because that's kind of like a classic colour but no they brought out two stunning colours this I'm so I'm really really shocked about because I've never seen a brown this shade Normally it's too ashy, normally it's too red or too purpley, like a purple undertone. No, it's really not. It's nothing like it. These are, what a perfect combo. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so glad I bought these. These are both going in my collection right now. I actually really want to do a matte lipstick collection and definitely a makeup collection as well because I can show you my layout, the way I've got my lipsticks. I've got them in a separate stand because they're like my go-to lipstick, honestly. I genuinely don't wear any other lipsticks apart from MAC. I don't really wear anything else apart from MAC lipsticks and random lip liners. But apart from that, yeah, MAC is my ride and die. And I love liquid lipsticks, but lipsticks are more my type because they're not as drying. They've got a slight more sheen to it. 
Yeah, they're both matte lipsticks. I think, oh no, so Jamie's is a satin. Wait, I've not even checked. Jamie's is a satin lipstick. Um, What's Patricia's matte? Yep, yeah, and Patricia's is a matte. So we've got a matte and satin, which in fact are both my favourite formulas of lipstick. So satin is not matte, but it's not like a cream sheen shiny colour. It's definitely like an in-between. And then matte is my perfect. Perfect. So happy. Ah. They're so pretty. Um, I'm just in love. Um, <laughs> you girl's dead. And girl, this brown lipstick. Look at that. Brown lipstick. This coat in autumn winter with big hoop earrings. Can you imagine? It's a look. It's an actual look, guys. 